One minute on active transport. Active transport is the opposite of diffusion. It involves moving from an area of low concentration to high concentration against a concentration gradient. We know with diffusion that things tend to go from high to low, like going downhill. And we've got a picture here of a man pushing up a rock. He's actually Sisyphus, who was, uh, I think, punished by Zeus and that he would, for eternity, have to roll a, a stone up a hill and it would come back down. And in active transport, we are having to invest energy. And so I want you to remember this guy pushing the stone up the hill. Active transport requires energy because we're going against a concentration gradient. We're pushing it uphill. We don't say pushing uphill in our answers. We say against a concentration gradient. And this is used by root hair cells who are trying to pull in minerals and ions from the soil when they have already got quite a lot in their cells. And so they're taking them from a low concentration in the soil and using energy to transport them into their cell. It also happens in our gut when we transport glucose into our bloodstream. And if we've just eaten, there might be quite a high concentration of glucose. And we're going from a low concentration to a high concentration against a concentration gradient using energy. We're out of here.